This is part 1 of C-Sharp interview questions video series. In this video, we'll answer this interview question, can you store different types in an array in C-Sharp? If you're wondering why this video series, we will discuss all the possible C-Sharp interview questions in this series. Many users have posted several interview questions on my YouTube channel that they have faced in an interview. So if you have an interview question that needs to be answered, please feel free to post it either on my YouTube channel or on my blog and I shall record a video response for you as soon as I can. So let's answer this interview question. Can you store different types in an array in C-Sharp? And the answer is yes if you create an object array. Let's understand this with an example. Here I have a console application. Now let's create an integer array. Now let's initialize this array maybe to 2. Now look at this. I can store an integer within this array because that is an integer array. Now if I try to store a string, look at what's going to happen. We will get a compilation error right away. Look at that, we have an error, cannot implicitly convert type string to int. So, you know, arrays are strongly typed, you know. So here, this integer array is strongly typed in the sense that you can only store integer type within this array. But then if you want to store different data types within an array, create an array of type object. So if I convert this to type object, Then look at this, I am able to store an integer, I am able to store a string because object type is the base type for all types in .NET. So every type within .NET directly or indirectly inher inherit from object type. So we can add any type of object to this array as an inherited type including complex types. For example, if I have a class, let's say customer, And let's include two properties. So public and ID. And let's include another property of type string and let's call it maybe name. Let's actually bump up the size of the array to three. Now let's create an instance of this customer class. So c.id, let's say id is 99, c.name equals prajim. And look at this. I can even store a complex type in this array. So I can assign it c. Look at that now. In this array, we are storing different types. And we can very easily retrieve them as well using a for each loop. Okay, so let's use a for each loop. Let's call it for each object obj in our array. And let's use console.writeLine and print the value of the items that we have within the array. Okay, so what values do we have? We have number one, which is an integer, a string, and then we have a customer object. So if I run this, Look at this, I get number one string and then you know for the customer object it just prints out the name of the type, that is the name of the class. The name of the class is customer and since that class is present in interview questions namespace, you know the complete name of the class including the namespace is printed. You know this doesn't you know make sense to the end user. So if you want the output to be meaningful then we have to override two string method of the customer class. So let's quickly override that. So override two string method and uh, let's say you know when two string method of this customer class is invoked, we want to print their name, you know the customer name. So in that case, we are going to simply return the name of the customer. Okay, so let's run this now and look at that, we get the name of the customer. Okay, so the straight answer to this question is yes, 
if you create an object array then you can store different types in an array in C sharp and that's because since all types in .NET inherit from object type so you know we can add the other types as an inherited type to that object array including complex types like customer employee etc and we may need to override the two string method if we want a meaningful output when the two string method is invoked on that complex type and we have just seen an example of overriding the two string method you know for this customer class okay another alternative basically instead of using an object array you can also use a class that is present in system.collections namespace. So within system.collections namespace, we have an array list class. You can use this class as well to store different types because this array list class operates on object type. So instead of using an object array, let's go ahead and import system.collections namespace. Now I can use an array list. So array list. Let's create an array list. And now when you are using an array list, you can use add method. So I can simply say array dot add and then you can add. Look at that. When we use that add method, you can see that you can add a value of type object since array lists operate on object type you can add any data type to an array list collection okay so basically I can add one we can add maybe a string and similarly we can also add a customer object And when we use a for each loop, we get the same output. There you go. All right. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.